In this video we're going to look at some more organelles and in particular we're going to look at organelles that are visible with the electron microscope. We're going to talk about electron microscopes and how they work. We're then going to look at some organelles including the nucleolus, the mitochondria, ribosomes, the endoplasmic reticulum, both the smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum, lysosomes, centrioles and the Golgi body. An electron microscope works by shining a beam of electrons on or through the specimen and this beam of electrons is focused by electromagnetic lenses and then shone onto a sensor that's connected to a computer which produces an image in black and white and sometimes these images are coloured afterwards. Because electrons are about 10,000 times smaller than the photons of light, the particles that form light, it means that we can get the resolution of these microscopes or the magnification up to about 10 million times magnification. Where with light microscopes and even the very good micro light microscopes, we can generally only get about 2,000 times magnification. The transmission electron microscope, or TEM, works by shining a beam of electrons through a specimen and gets an image in two dimensions. A scanning electron microscope, or SEM, rather than going through, bounces the beam of electrons off the surface of the specimens from different angles, and this creates a three-dimensional image. The nucleolus is found inside the nucleus, and it's where all the genes and DNA are found, as well as the place where ribosomes are formed. Mitochondria can be thought of as the power plants of the cell, and this is because inside them is where respiration occurs. They're found in the cytoplasm, and they have consist of two membranes, the inner membrane, which is very folded into a structure called cristae, and this increases the surface area, therefore allowing more sites for respiration to occur. Ribosomes are responsible for protein synthesis. They read RNA and produce proteins. They're very, very small, consisting of two tiny subunits, and they're found floating around in the cytoplasm as free ribosomes, or more commonly uh, bound to the endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum The endoplasmic reticulum is a system of membranes or sacs and what it does is provides a surface for a lot of chemical reactions to occur on as well as channels for molecules to be moved around the cell. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum. The rough endoplasmic reticulum is bound with a whole heap of ribosomes and you can see this picture is rough because you can see the uh, circular ribosomes there. And they are, that is involved in protein synthesis. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum doesn't have any ribosomes and is involved in lipid manufacture or fat synthesis, as well as the inactivation of drugs. Lysosomes are small uh, circular organelles that have very acidic contents inside them. And these are used uh, for digestion inside the cell, so cellular digestion, as well as to break down wastes. And you can see that a lysosome here comes and merges with a vacuole that contains food and digests the substances in that vacuole. Centrioles consist of bundles of tubules and they're found in pairs in animal cells only. And their role is in the formation of spindles for mitosis, and we'll look into mitosis in more detail in a later video. The Golgi body is made up of 
flattened membrane sacs, again increasing the surface area. And its job is to modify, store and distribute substances that are made in the endoplasmic reticulum. So proteins, lipids, things like that. So it works very closely with the endoplasmic reticulum. In this video, we've looked at electron microscopes, the two different types of electron microscopes, scanning electron microscopes and transmission electron microscopes. We've looked at the nucleolus containing the DNA found inside the nucleus, the mitochondria being the power plant of the cells, ribosomes involved in protein synthesis, endoplasmic reticulum, being a membrane in which reactions can occur, including in the rough endoplasmic reticulum protein synthesis and lipid production in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. We've looked at lysosomes, which contain very acidic digestive enzymes, centrioles, which are involved in spindle production for mitosis, as well as the Golgi body, which works closely with the endoplasmic reticulum.